In September 2014, I woke up and I had some symptoms that were pretty scary to me. I had a really bad pain in the base of my head. Um, I was dizzy. Uh, I had numbness on my right side and all I could think of is, oh my gosh, I had a stroke while I was sleeping because strokes run on both sides of my family. When I went to my doctor, they said, well, I really think it, you have thyroid problems because uh, my thyroid was elevated. So let's do some blood work and see what turns out. Well, my C-reactive protein level was really high, which meant I had inflammation somewhere in my body. We just didn't know where. And so she said, you know what, let's start you out on physical therapy. Maybe you're just dealing with a lot of stress. And so let's go for, through physical therapy. And so I did six weeks of physical therapy and it helped. But then like the next day I had a headache again. A friend of mine who has a cousin who has a chronic illness, which is Chiari, um, contacted me and said, you know what, your symptoms sound like what my cousin has. So I went ahead and I started looking up what it was and doing the research. Um, I'm a biology professor. So I looked up different case studies. Um, I started reading more research and I said, oh my gosh, these symptoms are exactly what I have. So when I went back to the doctor, I handed her my case studies and I said, you know what, this is me. This is what happened to me. This is all my symptoms. This is like a mere image of what I have. And she's like, well, let me see if I can have you go and see somebody else. Um, after she prescribed tons and tons of different medications for me. There was nights that I left work here and I had to pull over inside the road because I would be so sick that I wouldn't be able to drive home because the headaches were so intense. I feared for my life, I really did. Um, it, you get to a point that the doctors don't listen to the patients and that's what's really hard. And at that time, I talked to some people on Facebook and about my symptoms and I was tracking people and they said, you know what, it sounds like you have Chiari. And I had a couple friends look at MRIs and they're like, oh yeah, that, that's exactly what my MRI looked like. Actually, this is um, a folder of all my tests I had um, before I was able to see Dr. Gilmer. Uh, Maggie presented to me with um, constant severe headaches. Uh, they had been going on for about three, four months, but she had had some more subtle problems before that. Trouble with swallowing ringing in her ears, feeling a fullness in her ears all the time, poor balance. Stepped into her office and she just took one look at me and she said there was no, no doubt that that's what I had. I actually was more significant than what the MRI actually showed. I had surgery on in December. So Maggie had a Chiari 1 uh, malformation, which occurs when part of the cerebellum, the cerebellar tonsils, descends below this line, which essentially divides the brain from the spine. All of this tissue is extending down into the spine and blocking the flow of fluid between the brain and the spine. So what I did is a suboccipital craniectomy, which is removing the bone from the back of the skull, and a C1 laminectomy, which is removing a piece of the C1 lamina, essentially turning it from a ring into a C. So the front and the sides of the C1 lamina are left in place and just this back piece is removed. I always shrink and reduce the cerebellar tonsils. They just go down and block the flow of fluid if um, they're not removed. And then close with a big graft to give her more space and more room for the fluid to flow. Actually, when I opened her dura, her fluid shot out to the point that it soaked me. Normally, it will shoot out under some pressure, sometimes out of the wound in more unusual cases. But I've never been actually hit with the fluid sort of you know, even almost a foot out of the wound. It was a Wednesday night. I was released out of the hospital on a Friday. I was able to go back to work on January 4th. Maggie's doing great now. She has no more headaches. She has no more difficulty swallowing. She's not choking, gagging on food or liquids anymore. She's not having the fullness in her ear. Her balance is much better. Her memory and concentration are better. No pain. I have had no symptoms that I had before. I had no headaches, um, everything's back to normal, I feel great, and I could have done it without her.